Good morning, YouTube. This is Charles again, and this morning we are on to, going to pick up my new car. Are you excited? A little bit, just a little. Just a little. I was itching, <laughs> itching to go this morning. Yes, we're on our way to pick up our new car. We went to look at it last week on Friday. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a walk around now when we went to look at it for the first time. Uh, we're going back now to pick it up. Uh, as you can see, it's a Mitsubishi Delica. Uh, it's 4x4 vehicle. It's my first time really owning a 4x4. I've owned four-wheel drive cars, obviously the Galant and some other cars, but this is my first 4x4 vehicle. Uh, it's Japanese import, 2006. I think it's got 76,000 miles on it. Uh, really nice condition, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, we're on our way to pick it up now. Uh, and then hopefully get a home and then we're going to do some detail work to it. I'm also want to make a trip to Mitsubishi later today to talk to them about picking up some new parts because it needs a few bits and bobs. And uh, yeah, I'll give you a walk around of it later, show you the insides, talk about it a little bit more. I'm still new to the platform, so I really don't know that much about them, but I've done a little bit of research over the last few weeks because that's when I decided I wanted one. I went to look at a few that were pretty busted up, so this one is really nice. I'm really excited. It's the one I want. It's got the special interior and a few other, few other pieces that I, that I really wanted. I wanted a white one to match my Galant. So, and I've got some really good plans for it in the future. Not too far away, actually. Later this year, 2020, we've got some plans to take it on some tours, uh, maybe into Europe. So stay tuned for those videos. And uh, yeah, all the modifications I'm gonna do to it. Not major, but some. And then basically just enjoying it. It's gonna be my new daily driver, so it won't be, it won't be parked, it will be driven. And uh, Tiffany, my wife, is gonna be on the account, so she will be driving it. Ooh, a little nervous about that, but she will be driving it. So yes, stay tuned. We'll uh, show you the car as we go pick it up and uh, a little bit more insight to the car. Thank you. All right, guys, we just made it. About to pull out and start looking at it. That's the Delica there, as you can see it there. <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, the to point it out. that's the deli right there, the white one. <laughs> We're gonna go get it now and get it all paperwork filled out, start driving her home here shortly. So let's get it going, I'm excited. <laughs> all right, boys, we're pulling away in the Delica. Took a little bit of uh, time to get the paperwork done, but and the payment, but we're done. First initial drive by myself. It's a big vehicle. It is big. Gotta get used to it. Get used to the automatic transmission because I haven't driven automatic in a long time. But I'm really digging the looks of this car, this trunk. The white is classic. I'm loving the front end, the look of it. So far, it's comfortable. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm taking up to the uh, put some petrol in it before we head home because I'm on E. <laughs> and then uh, pull into the parking lot, uh, walk around the truck and show it to you a little bit, a little closer of the features and uh, stuff that's going on in the car. So uh, yeah, it's really good. I'm super excited. Catch you in a minute then. Okay, this is the Delica. 2006 model year space gear as they call it so it's a couple features so when you open the door here this sliding glass uh, sliding step come drops down for you to climb in and out and the model that i have which is the field edition i believe these seats here are special seats that come with this particular model it is the high roof so it's got taller roof in it it's got dual central air conditionings in it captain seats in the front as you can see it's got an aftermarket head head unit in there. Need to learn how to feature it, work with that. So, yeah, and it's got some nice floor mats, custom Mitsubishi floor mats there, Mitsubishi Motors with some uh, over over mats there. So yeah, if Tiffany will come over and shut that door, I'll show you how the step works. It's pretty neat. So when you push that, it 
tucks away. Isn't that cool? So it's got the 15 inch alloys with some um, uh, grappler tires on it, which are really nice. They really fit the truck really well. Obviously the Delica. It is the active field edition, which is really neat. I like that. Got the uh, fog light for the rear, which is doesn't come factory. You have to add that for the UK market. So yeah, it's got uh, a lot of cool features. The front end is my favorite with the fog lights. It just looks, it's the aero package as they call it. So it's got the dual fog lights in the front. I'll be getting some new ones of those, but looking from here, it just really looks tall and skinny. It's got the chrome uh, mirrors on it, which are really cool. So yeah, that's her right now. The plan is now to get her home. It's got, oh, it's also got mud flaps from the factory. Factory mud flaps. Those, those need a little bit of attention. It's a few scratches here and there, like there's one there, but nothing major really. It's still, like I said, it's still really, really, really good condition for the, for the mileage. Got the four wheel drive on the mud flaps. I'll show you the back tailgate. So it opens all the way up. It's pretty tall, very big, large rear trunk. And these seats, these seats here, they fold down to make a bed, which is really neat. So you can fold all the seats down and you can actually make a bed out of it. So you could put like a, uh, a cushion on the top and you can actually sleep there. And uh, this seat in the middle here rotates a full, full 180, so it faces back towards the back of the vehicle. It's like a conference style seating. And it also flips against flush against the side of the car there. I'll show you the figuration of it later. Really neat. Uh, that is supposed to be a, fl a, f a flashlight, but it's gone. So I got to get a new one of those and that's a 12 volt 12 volt power there So yeah, it's got a little bump bar in the back So yeah, so we'll shut that and it's got a reverse camera, which is cool. So I'll be using that Yeah, so that's her I'm gonna get her home now got about an hour drive and then we'll start uh, cleaning her up Yeah, it's really cool. Super glad of the purchase very excited. So let's get her home now all right, guys, just cruising on the M1, doing about 65 miles an hour, heading home. So far, so good. It's uh, quite a nice ride, I tell you. It's smooth. Transmission shifts really nice. It's a really nice ride. I'm really liking it. Looking forward to taking on some trips, cruising around. I'm hoping you're enjoying my first video of the Delica. There's going to be lots more going on going to Mitsubishi tomorrow or maybe today to uh, some parts I want to order there's a, the fog lights I want to replace those the chrome trim on the fog lights has failed the inner part of this of the housing so I want to order two of those and there's a couple dash pieces that are that are uh, not doing too great so I want to replace those and scratch it up a little bit and uh, other than that you know it's mainly just cleaning it needs a good wax it needs a good polish uh, and uh, the engine bay is pretty rough. Uh, I don't think it's ever been clean, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean that up. Do what I do. I clean things. So when I got my Galant from Japan, it was pretty black underneath the hood. It took me a couple weeks, but I slowly got it into the condition that I'd be happy with. So that's the next step. I'm gonna be working on that, and then maintenance. Maintenance. So I want to get that done. I know the timing belt's been done. It's written on the on the rocker cover. It's done at 89,000 kilometers. It's got 123 kilometer, thousand kilometers now, so that's good. Should be all right for that for a little bit. But I want to do the transmission, the front rear front rear axles, differential, the rear axle, and uh, I want to do coolant brakes. Just just a main just service, and then I've got to MOT it in February. So I'll run it through the safety, they'll check the brakes and all that for me during that. So I'll uh, know it's safe to ride. And then stay tuned, because in February it's going to Scotland. So I've got a, a hiking training course that I'm doing. And uh, me and Tiffany are doing it, a uh, survival course in the snow. So I'm taking it up there. So I'll be driving to Scotland, maybe get some nice pictures around the mountains and stuff. I'm looking forward now, looking forward to taking that and getting those photos in. So, and uh, just taking it for a long distance ride and then Next year, uh, 2020, uh, July time, we've got a big trip that we're going on. So we'll be definitely be doing that with this. It's going over to Europe. So taking it in the Alps, I hope. So yeah, so join it, love it. It's my new ride, super excited. Let's just get her home now so I can uh, 
look at her again. Thanks for watching, guys.